Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, great to be back. Great to connect with all of you out there. This video, I'm going to talk a bit about my recent experiment, which I conducted with summarized written text. Um, you know, last few days, last few weeks, I've noticed a lot of students are missing out in reading and writing um, section. The two things which are going to impact your reading and writing section simultaneously means all together reading and writing blanks or your summarized written text. Reading and writing blanks I understand we are working on that students do find it difficult so we saw that along with that students were making a lot of mistakes when it comes to summarize written text. What was the mistake? They were not adding proper keywords, proper content and as a result they were losing points in reading. As most of you know that summarized written text contributes towards your reading section as well. A lot of students do ignore this fact and they just focus on writing a good sentence but they miss out important keywords in there. What I did is I took one mock test first, one test B from PSN's practice code mock test. I attempted summarize written text, essays, reading and writing blanks, summarize spoken text, listening blanks and write from dictations. I attempted these 8 tasks which are going to impact your writing section. I did this exactly in the same manner we ask our students to do it. The very first attempt when I took the mock test I got 19 writing, 13 reading. So by attempting reading and writing blanks and summarized written text I got 13 reading and I got 48 in listening. What I did is I copied and pasted essay summarized spoken text exactly um, as I wrote in the mock test in a notepad right in the notepad on my computer and once I was done with my first mock test I took another mock test same practice test B. In here what was the difference? In my first attempt in the mock test in summarized written text I included around 9 to 10 keywords from the passage. When I say 9 to 10 keywords it means 9 to 10 important words from the given passage. Important words means proper nouns, topic words, words related to the main topic and words which are repeated again and again. So I included around 9 to 10 keywords from the given passage. And in the next attempt when I did the mock test, um, I did each and everything exactly same but summarized it in text. This time I included only 4 to 6 keywords. 4 to 6 keywords from the passage in my answer. And to my result, to see the result I was a bit surprised as well. What I got is I got 19 writing means the content or the keywords did not impact my writing a lot but they did impact my reading. In the first attempt I got 13 reading but in the second as you can see on the screen I only got 26 in my reading section. So writing is same, listening is same but my reading score went down. So what do we take out of this video? First of all don't panic, nothing has changed. Two to three things which you need to worry about. Make sure summarize written text. You don't just focus on framing a proper sentence. You need to make sure you frame a proper sentence with proper keywords. Try to include around 8 to 10 keywords from the given passage in your answer. After that, try to write around 50 to 60 words. I won't say if you write 30, 35 or 40 words, you can't get 90. I've got students who have even written 35 words but they and, and they've got 90 as well. But why I'm asking you to write around 50, 55 words? That will increase the chances that you'll include more keywords. Including 10 keywords while writing 35 words is a bit difficult as compared to writing 55 words and adjusting 10 keywords in there. So even if you want to write less, that's fine, but you need to make sure you include at least 10 keywords from the given passage. So again, what do we take out of this video? Focus on content means keywords as well as your spelling and grammar in your summarized written text. Practice one summarized written text every day or every alternate day. It is not that difficult but yes choosing the right sentence and right keywords are very very important. That can be one of the reasons why you are missing out in reading and writing section altogether. Now guys if you do have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer all of them. If you want me to make any video do any other experiment please do let me know I'll do that as well. Make sure you practice on languageacademy.com.au while you practice you submit your answer and see how much score you're getting make sure you have got enough keywords you're getting two on two in content there's ai free scoring available ai powered free scoring available for a limited time go there practice submit your answers and see how much you're getting in content if you're getting seven on seven in summarized written text you're good to go but still be very careful when it comes to your exam day make sure you proofread your summary and you do not panic over there all the very best guys um, 
if you think the video was helpful please do like subscribe and share it with your friends and if you do get the score please do let me know that is one thing i work for and i'll be very very proud and motivated to make more videos like this thanks guys varun signing off from language academy make sure you don't take summarize written text easy don't worry about it but yes don't take it very easy that you are not even practicing a single summary and on the exam day you do each and everything perfect and this easy task you mess up Thanks guys all the very best